this is Stampy and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I am bringing you a tour of another amazing world and uh, this world was built by Arm Whitefang who is the uh, lovely dog you can see in front of me. <laughs> Shall I try taming him? Shall I try taming Whitefang just to uh, make sure he follows me around for the tour? Let's get a bone here. Come on boy, come on Whitefang, go on I'll so see if I can tame him. Oh he's not interested, he's not interested in me. Come on boy look, look what I got for you. Whitefang, Whitefang come on. Come on, boy. Come and look. Look what I got. Look what I got. Ah, uh, I, I think all he wants is me to go and look around all of the amazing stuff he's built. How boring. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is a world which was built almost entirely by White Fang. There are uh, a few other people that helped, which I'm going to uh, mention a little bit later on when I get to... Uh, things that they built and it's not uh, a massive world it's not like a full city like uh, some of the other worlds that I've been in but there's this uh, village area here then there's a huge castle uh, as well as a few other things scattered around which uh, we're going to get to very shortly and all of the um, the interiors of the houses um, aren't actually built yet and uh, he kind of really wanted me to to not look in any of them he sort of went around shutting the doors of all of the uh, the buildings before I got to because he didn't want to uh, see that they're they're all empty but uh, there is one. Uh, there is one which is furnished and I slightly helped him furnish it so uh, we're doing that as kind of like the show home and I'm going to go to that in a little bit and um uh, yeah, then you'll be able to see, like, like imagine all of the other houses would be as that one is. And you can see a lovely looking windmill up there. Uh, you may actually remember, uh, I actually did a uh, quick build competition against White Fang and uh, Legion. And it was me and Squid versus them two. And one of the topics was uh, windmills. Uh, little did I know that he had already built one and basically built the same thing then. And look, I know there's like a trail of cake. Has he put this down here for me to follow it or something? Or has someone been stamping his world? That's the point, actually. I need to try and uh, stampy something when he's not looking. And oh look, there's a little chicken coop down here. Oh, this is really cool. That actually looks like a little chicken coop. That's really cute. <laughs> and yeah, so like I have seen some of this world. I sort of flew over it a bit uh, to try and load it all in, but I've not really explored it. I've not looked at anything in detail. Should I have another go trying to tame him? Is he trying to throw eggs at me? Look, if I throw a bone at him, will he, will he then be tamed? Is he now going to follow me? Come on, boy. Come on, boy. <laughs> there we go. I think I've now tamed White Fang. <laughs> and uh, there's an awesome looking tree over here, which is uh, really cool. And uh, up here, actually, I kind of uh, got a glimpse of it earlier, but didn't look at it properly. There's a, a big old airship over there, which um, looks absolutely amazing. That's a really uh, funky style for an airship. And uh, at the end of the video, I am going to uh, fly around this whole area so you can see uh, what everything looks like from above. But uh, from now I'm going to stick to uh, being a commoner and walking around on the, my feet. And look at that! How about that for a view? How many worlds in Minecraft can you turn a corner and then suddenly see that? This is the castle. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason I'm here. These houses are absolutely lovely and they're delightful and they're cute. But that is the reason we came to uh, come into this world. Uh, but first I'm going to very quickly show you the show home. So this is, uh, this is kind of... Imagine all of the other houses are like this. Now, I don't have permissions to open doors. Right, I'm going to have to break it. I love the fact I got permission to break doors, but not open them. Oh, we gave them a little bit too late. Yeah, this is the this is the table. This is my one contribution that I had to the world. I built that very small table down here. And here we go. Oh, he's giving me loads of cake. I don't think I need to stampy his world. Uh, what stamping is, by the way, if you don't know, is basically uh, whenever I'm touring someone's world, I hide cake everywhere, but it kind of looks like he's doing it for me. I guess I don't really need to. Anyway, we can now go and uh, head inside of the castle. And this is uh, completely built on the inside as well as the outside. Uh, subscribe to White Fang. He does have a um, uh, a YouTube account as well, and that will be uh, linked in the description if you want to go and check it out. But look at this place. This place is absolutely amazing. Like, this has to be one of the best single buildings that there are in Minecraft, you know? Like, just taking one building by itself. This is absolutely amazing. Like, I don't know, he's just a very competent and stylish builder. And yeah, this place looks absolutely amazing. You can see there's an altar up here, I guess, maybe? So I can address the masses. And just look at the view. I'm going to do a really slow sort of pan up just so you can see the whole massive interior. Oh, it looks amazing, doesn't it? It does look so cool. And what, what, what is this for? Oh, is there like a secret bit? Can we can we go down behind it, do you reckon? Is there a bit underneath there? Oh, no, it does seem to be blocked off. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. Is that like a, a toilet or something? Is that a toilet down there? Or is there a little doggy bath? Is there a little doggy bath in there, maybe? <laughs> I kind of want to stamp you. I kind of want to hide a cake underneath down there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that this place is absolutely amazing, and uh, almost all of this world was built uh, just as Creative Mode came out. 
uh, literally within the week that uh, creative mode was added, like long before title update 9 or anything, uh, all of this was built, like in, in probably about three days most of it was built, so uh, it gives you an idea of the kind of uh, speed in which he's able to build something like this, and um, I think we've seen most of it from the inside, oh no we haven't, there's a secret bit downstairs, oh I love this, I always love it when there's, there's little hidden things that you don't expect, and it's so dark down here, there's all like chests and stuff, oh it's full of bones, oh, I, guess, I guess this is some sort of big doggy castle, I guess it's supposed to be some sort of scary dungeon but I'm gonna pretend it's all here just for the doggies and it's very dark down I can literally hardly see anything I'm just gonna put uh, a torch down just so you can see uh, what the place looks down in here I guess it's some sort of dark dungeon or like a crypt do you reckon these are supposed to be like the graves of some people Oh, it's a bit I, I don't like it so much down here. I was all excited about exploring a secret bit underneath, but it's all a little bit terrifying. Yeah, that's right. You can leave the bone that I gave you earlier down here. <laughs> this does seem to be uh, quite a fitting place to put it. I don't know if there's anything else around here. I kind of thought that, uh, thought it was all just this one big massive room. I don't believe uh, there's anywhere upstairs. And I kind of like it like this because normally people build like a massive building and then they just fill it up with stuff. And oh, wait a minute, I just walked past a jukebox and I didn't put my favourite song on. Yeah, normally like they fill it all up full of different rooms and it looks good, but I kind of like having a big massive room like this. Uh, that way you can kind of see the whole thing all together and it looks all like really big and grand and uh, seeing as there is a jukebox I normally got to go and uh, have my little famous dance to my chirp song. I just love this song so much. It's such an awesome song in Minecraft. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back out here and I'm going to go and uh, have a look at it all around from the outside and there's also a big old dragon over there which I'm sure some of you got a glimpse of earlier and I'm going to show that off. Uh, this was actually built by Buffalo Soldier uh, who is the person who built the city of Swordlock uh, which I actually toured on my uh, channel uh, probably about two months ago or so. And yeah, he's got a YouTube channel, Sinrix, as well. And uh, that will also be linked in the description. And yeah, it's just an amazing dragon. I remember him uh, having amazing dragons in his world as well. And uh, he certainly wasn't uh, skimping when he went to build it in this world, you know. He certainly uh, pulled out all the stops. A very a very cool colour pattern there. He's like, I don't know, a pretty awesome striped dragon. Normally they're like just completely black and grey and that. It's kind of cool uh, seeing that sort of striped dragon. And I didn't know this was was here. I had no idea that that this castle was, was over here. Like, I didn't get a glimpse of this. I kind of thought that was the castle. Maybe that's not. Maybe that's like a cathedral or something and this is the castle over here. Like, when he talked about the castle, I kind of just uh, assumed he was talking about this. And poor people that live in this house over here. <laughs> Imagine like seeing the brochure going like, yeah, this is your house here. And then you move in and then that's next door. Like, this is a very nice house, but you wouldn't want them as neighbours. It just makes you look bad. <laughs> oh, it's quite nice and cosy down here as well. We've got some, some melons and some pumpkins down here and a nice little fireplace. See some more tables there inspired by the tables that I built earlier. And cake as well. Num, 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 num. <laughs> you can tell White Fang's been watching some of my videos. He knows how to keep me happy and to keep me in a good mood, basically, uh, by putting cake all over the place. Anyway, let's go inside this castle. I honestly had no idea that this was here, so um, I haven't loaded any of it in at all. So uh, we might have to stand around here for a bit as the uh, as the chunks load in. Oh, it's also empty. Or maybe it's a, a work in progress then. Oh, it does look awesome though. Just look at the size of it. Like, forget adding all of the detail on that. Just placing all of these blocks would take absolutely ages. I want him to finish this. I want him to build the inside of this area. I, I see this as as wasted potential. Oh, what's he done? Has he changed skin? Oh, I, thought, oh, I think he's putting down a, um, a sign. He might be explaining that it's not finished. Yeah, he's just there said he's not finished. I can tell that. Make sure you finish it, White Fang. When you watch back this video, you've got a request from Stampy to get this finished. And then I'll, I'll come back and see uh, what it looks like finished. Because there's like so many big, amazing buildings here. Like He just needs to build everything in between. Like this feels like the start of like what could be like one of the best cities on uh, Minecraft Xbox. He just needs to to add more stuff in between because like the quality of what he's done so far is amazing. And as I said, like he literally built almost all of this like in a few days. Like if he just kept at it for like a month or so, like this could be incredible. This world. <laughs> anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and uh, head over to um. I think it's like some sort of uh, like stadium or like a battle arena. Uh, you can probably just about there see loading in in the distance like some two massive swords, uh, which is like, um, I think it's like some sort of Colosseum. And uh, apparently it was actually uh, inspired by Noble Alpha. So uh, we're going to go inside there. And uh, once again, uh, I've not looked at all inside here. So uh, I have no idea what's going to be here. Once again, though, uh, just from the exterior, it looks awesome. I, lo I love the style of those swords. Like I love it when... 
uh, people do things, but not in the style of Minecraft. And why am I going in the water and getting my paws all wet when there's a awesome looking bridge there? <laughs> I might as well go uh, over the bridge and do it do it properly, get the, uh, the best angle. And then uh, I think once we've gone and seen the Colosseum, uh, we're going to have a quick nap. And then there is one last village sort of uh, spread out somewhere else on the world. And I'm going to go show you that. It's quite a, uh, a unique and slightly weird looking village, but it's pretty awesome. It's certainly uh, original compared to uh, a lot of the other stuff that you see in Minecraft. But here we go. Here's the, uh, I think it's called the Colosseum or the Stadium or whatever. Uh, once again, another absolutely massive, like these are proper mega builds. And there we go. There's a sign that just says uh, Noble Alpha. And what do these say? Give manager entry? Uh, give manager entry. Um, okay, am I, are we going to have a fight? Oh, warriors. Okay, let's go into the warriors side then. Oh, am I, do, do I have to like pay to get in? Do I have to like pay to to to, to fight? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I really want to. There we go. It seems like the uh, the sheep are the people in charge over here. Oh, what colour shall I go? I can go red, green, or blue. Um, oh, oh, there's proper rules here. Wool of the commandments. Um, oh, oh, is it? Of the nine commandments. All right, let's put down a torch to see if some of these can load in. Uh, I don't know whether they are actually blank signs or if they're just not loading in or not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Let's go uh, into the red side then, shall we? I don't know if this is actually like a playable game then. Like I assumed it was uh, something that you just look at, but maybe you actually do play this game properly. And I am completely lost. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I think I might have to just fly up here maybe. Um, all right, here we go. He's he's made some some little steps for me to get up. I think this I think this is a playable game. Then there's like bows and arrows and all sorts and stuff. And uh, there seems to be a few holes. Maybe there's been uh, a few googlies in this area. Maybe a few creepers have uh, blown some stuff up. And look at that! Look at that long range sign writing there. He's writing that sign, but he's obviously fallen down. But uh, he's still somehow just about able to write it. I kind of wish I was uh, playing this on survival. I kind of wish that we could we could actually have a proper game of this. Uh, once again, another sign saying not finished. I guess that uh, he's got some redstone and stuff that he needs to to work out there. But yeah, I guess this can be like a proper game then. So uh, everyone goes into like each different spawn and has like their weapons and that. And they can go and have like a, a massive battle. I think that'd be really awesome when it's done. But what I'm going to quickly do now is uh, put down a few beds so we can have a, a little bit of a nap in this area. And then, as I said, there's one last uh, village that we're going to go check out. Look at him! He's always one step ahead of me there. He's already got his beds put down. And I have noticed that I haven't stampede once yet in this video. I know he's done it a lot. I know he's been stamping all over the place. <laughs> but I've not actually managed to hide any cakes yet. <laughs> I think he's just shown me that we would be having battles. Let's see if I can catch one. Let's see if I can catch one of the arrows in my mouth. There we go. Did you see it actually bounced off me then? <laughs> right, let's get out of here because all these raining arrows are kind of making me scared. Uh, let's go out the, uh, the blue way and let's see if I can find anywhere to hide some cake. I, I can't have him catch me though. If he sees me, it'll be an unsuccessful stampede. Right, should I put one in here? If I hide the cake in there. There I go. Has he noticed? Is he going to look inside? Let me just make sure he's not. Oh, I can see. I can just about see my cake there through that little crack down there. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can uh, go back out through this side. And oh, there's a door in the way. Okay, I guess we should go back through on the red side. At least with the red side, I know I'm not going to get too lost. I'm not going to battle you. I'm not going to fight you now. It's on creative mode. We'll be here all day just sort of <laughs> swinging at each other and trying to shoot each other with nothing happening. Is this, is this where I came up? I can't remember coming up this ladder. Oh, no, I, think, I think this is where we came up, isn't it? Yeah, there's the uh, all of the, the sign of the Nine Commandments over there. <laughs> and so, yeah, there's just that one little village which I'm going to uh, very quickly go and show you. And once I've shown you that, uh, I think I'm going to do like a, a big flyover of the entire area. Uh, just so you can see what it all looks like from above. And uh, I am going to have to cheat. I am going to have to go and uh, fly over here because it's a little bit away. Uh, but as soon as I get here, I'm going to plonk myself back down and uh, have another little wander round on foot. And uh, as you can see, it is it is kind of different to like the uh, the normal type of things that uh, you see. Like, I don't know, he's just used some weird materials, you know. He's using like things like soul sand and bedrock, which are, like, I don't know, they, they're kind of ugly textures and uh, I think that's probably why most people don't use them but uh, he's combined them in a way that I don't know it kind of it kind of does work it does sort of have its own style it's certainly got a um a sort of like a magical quality I don't know you kind of feel like a there could be like a village of wizards or something around in this area you know like these are certainly not at all realistic houses and I kind of like it like all of this sort of funky stuff like with lanterns on the ends hanging down and like up there like that sort of floating island place it just I don't know it, it does look quite cool and he says that 
uh, quite a lot of people come and uh, check out this village and uh, they say they don't like it that it looks I don't know a bit ugly and a bit weird and um, I agreed with them that it does look a bit weird but I don't think it looks ugly I think it all I don't know it all, it all does kind of just work and it looks quite cool and I mean they are weird aren't they like they like if you've got a list of what you'd consider to be ugly textures and blocks like cobblestone and soul sand and like glowstone they're all, they're all a bit ugly you know they're like very overly detailed and look like the weird completely flat bit there but I don't mind it's just just something different you know like there's certain blocks that combine together just look good you know there's certain like styles that like people know that if they do that it's just gonna look quite good and uh, it's kind of good that White Fang's sort of ignoring that and sort of, I don't know, doing it in his own style, but still uh, pulling off something that looks uh, pretty awesome. All right, so that is that is pretty much everything that's in this world. So as I said, I'm just going to uh, go and sort of fly around for a little bit just so I can uh, show you what some of the stuff looks like from above. So there's the uh, the massive unfinished castle over there. If we go over to the front here, uh, this is uh, Sinrix's dragon, and here this is this is the best way to get a view of it. Looking at it from above like this looks absolutely awesome. Uh, not to forget the uh, the castle or maybe cathedral. I'm not actually entirely sure what it is anymore. Uh, I think it might be like a church or a cathedral actually. I think that uh, that does might make more sense. Like I assumed it was a castle because he asked me if I saw the castle, and uh, I assumed he was talking about that, but um, uh, I guess he wasn't. And uh, here's the uh, the village uh, inside uh, that building down there is where my amazing table is and yeah it looks absolutely awesome from above and uh, here's the um here's the airship as well which I never got to uh, show you a proper look of over here so yeah this is all looking uh, pretty amazing and the final thing that I want to show you uh, is over here which is the uh, the big Colosseum which uh, I think once it's finished like it will be absolutely amazing especially if you can sort of play some sort of I don't know, like some sort of survival games or like have a battling arena in there. Uh, I think that would be pretty awesome. So uh, hopefully White Fang will continue working on this world and uh, adding more detail to it and finishing it off a bit. But uh, so far, uh, it's certainly looking absolutely amazing in my opinion. Uh, but he has got a bunch of other worlds that he wants to show me. So uh, that's going to be the end of this video here. Uh, but I will soon uh, be going and wandering around and uh, having a look at some of his other worlds. And uh, I'll leave a link to them in the description once they're online. Uh, but sadly, that's the end of this uh, video so I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you later bye